Let's send out the scout. Yeah, look at those stars back there. So beautiful. Hmm. The map's been reset, of course, to where it was before the journeying over here. Is this something I've already found when I went over there? Probably? I'm going to keep going this way. Totally meant to do that. One of the engineers is singing. One for the engine. Two at the dock. Three from the parson. Four of the clock. Five for the stovepipes. Six for hell. Seven solemn candles burning at the well. The sound of this place is terrifying. Whoa. Look at that vegetation. Oh, maybe this is Port Prosper. Vegetation? Corster B. Carcasses strike the hole. The fatalistic signaler, signalman sighs. Titania. Oh. I feel like that does something at the tip there. Yes, it's right there. Oh, thank God. Oh, that is gorgeous. My God. Lawrence Scott House. Rosie Park. Titania. Oh, so this isn't Port Prosper. Huh. Where is Port Prosper, then? Valentine Square. Titania is cupped in the petals of a colossal orchid, heady with scent, lurid with color. An enclave of bohemians have made their home, seeking inspiration in the wildness of the reach. What kind of shops do you have? Ministry approved literature. Ugh. A hawker sells the latest London pot boilers, flimsy mass printed books with wood pulp paper, lurid covers, and fresh gleaming ministry stamps. Well, I can't actually afford any of this. And this is before I got that um, that weapon from the ship. So I don't have that either. Oberyn's Landing. The port unfurls itself, welcoming you ashore. This perfumed haven was intended for thinkers, artists, philosophers, and poets. Instead, you enter its main dome to find yourself surrounded by arguing bohemians and the unfinished shells of buildings in a variety of styles. Nobody looks happy, but everyone agrees it's someone else's fault. Let's write a port report. Such beauty. Such a pity about the nearby chorister hive. What is Titania? A question with no easy answer. To the poets, a place of inspiration. To the stone workers, an untouched slab. To the playwrights, a blank page. A place of tranquility, of creation, and... Your interviewee pauses, suddenly looking worried. Do you hear buzzing? Apologies. Must get inside. <laughs> okay, so the Corister Hive is nearby. That's the problem with the nearby Corister Hive, is just that it's there and the bees might kill you. Okay. Meet with the mayor or explore. The mayor is only available when the port is undamaged. Hmm. As first amongst founders, she gets Titania's only office. Titania's petals fill the air with a perpetual perfume, but eventually you become accustomed to it. Even so, the scent of the many flowers in the mayor's small office sends your senses reeling. Obviously unaffected, she sits behind her desk and gestures for you to take the other chair. How can a place like this flourish out here in the dark? We ask the mayor. A spectacular place, isn't it? We couldn't believe that nobody else had colonized it after, well, 
whoever built all the crystal domes and spires. Honestly, I can't believe our luck. So, already some things had been built here before you came, and it was abandoned? Ask about work in the port. Even a place like this must want for something. The rhapsodic mayor shakes her head. I think you'll find us most self-sufficient, Captain. Enjoy your visit. Take in some poetry. If I think of anything that we might require, you'll be the first to know. Turn to the main square, I guess. Let's explore Titania. Light sparkles through the jeweled petals onto the marble, marble white paths. Wherever you explore, poets and singers perform their latest work, while artists peer behind canvases to try to capture the beauty in oil and chalk. In the horrors of the high wilderness, this is a place of safety and wonder, where nothing could possibly disturb the peace. Hmm, but what is that buzzing in the distance? <laughs> Are they sure they don't want my help with the hive? Is there... Nothing I can do. Nothing else I can do here. I guess I can go to the Porphyry... Yeah, Porphyry font. A veiled pavilion rests in the curve of one of Titania's greatest petals. Here, the melancholy poet gathers stories from skyfarers. She then arranges to pass them on to any artist or writer willing to pay for inspiration, to spur their brush or steer their pen. Oh, I can donate Sky Stories to get money. That's actually great. Then I can buy supplies. Um, let's see. Donate three Sky Stories. Does that... Oh, I think you gain a little bit more if you do that, don't you? 15 sovereigns, 30, 45. So if you give three of these individually, you get 45 sovereigns. If you do three in a batch, you get 50. The experience is the same, but yeah, you get a little bit more money. And then five Sky Stories. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to hang on to my Sky Stories, but I mean, I can't be picky right now. I need money. I need to feed my crew. And there's some bigger things I can give. A treasure, a moment of inspiration, a vision of the heavens. Yeah, let's do five Sky Stories. The melancholy poet fills a whole journal and sends out for a fresh bottle of ink. When you are finished, the poet needs a moment to think. This will need to go to someone of singular talent. Your payment is brought in. Now I've got three Sky Stories, so let's just donate all those too. I mean, it says donate, but I'm not really donating them. I'm getting paid for it. The poet presses you for more details. Uh, but Captain, were you terrified? Ecstatic? My artist will want to know. Your answer is written down and heavily underlined. Okay, got a bit of money now. Thank God. Yeah, I guess I can't really do much here at the moment. But I am going to buy... Lots of supplies. How much money do I have? 140? Should I buy a little fuel as well? No, I don't need fuel. I have five. Yeah, okay. So now we're at two. I'm kind of sick of lurking, looking for Port Prosper. At this point, it's like, I don't want to go back over here. I, I don't know. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's right here. Let's go right here. Right, a new place that's also sort of in the direction of New Winchester, so it leaves me closer to home. Yes. That sounds comfortable. Oh, I don't think I can get out that way. Probably saw it all the way down here. Maybe I'll go north then.
I know this is a waste of supplies, but let's just stop for a second and listen. I love how it sounds here. You know, since I am... Oh. Since I am in this place and it looks like I can't really get out to go this way, I think i got to go back the way I came if I want to get out. I should maybe look for the nearby bees' nest because I need bee wax or, or something from the bees to repair the magician's tools to bring back to the circus. It's supposed to be nearby, so... Probably just, like, up here. seems really out of the way. Well, maybe not if I can just go up here. Hmm, how far over do I have to go to get there? Oh no, is this whole place just... It's entirely boxed in, isn't it? It has found absolutely nothing. Where are those damn bees? I guess I'll try going down this way. I've got the supplies, and I have two port reports, which will give me 200 sovereigns, which should be enough to buy more stuff, so no reason to freak out yet. I'm doing pretty well right now. close to the circus. Something to crave. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of homesteads. Solitary Settler lives in this modest homestead. She's not much of a conversationalist, but the enticing smells that waft from her kitchen are convincing. Eat your fill. Reduce your terror and of starving by some time. Can't do anything else. I need salons to gossip or carefully pack creative munitions. Okay, yeah, just eat my fill. So we're starting at 15% terror. Reduce by 10%. Your host serves a grim but filling gruel, then follows it up with a plate of genuinely exceptional custard tarts. Your crew descend upon them like chorister bees upon a rival hive. Well, thank you for that. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna head back to New Winchester and turn in my port reports and buy some more supplies. So I just got 200 sovereigns for turning in my two port reports, and I now have enough favor to trade for another Savage Secret, which will bring me up to two, which means I think I can do the next step of the encoded letter. 
Ambition, the encoded letter. Yes, decode her hidden message. I think I already read this, right? Actually, maybe I didn't read this. She always hated crosswords, and the phrasing of the letter is stilted, as if she had to use certain words in certain places. There is a concealed message here, you are certain, and the crosswords are key to it. Eureka. Late nights, a score of failed attempts bunched up and thrown into the fire, but at last you are successful. The pages concealed not one hidden message, but two, each complicating and confounding the other. The first is an exhortation to meet at the same place and under the same circumstances that you last parted. That was in London during the annual Jubilation Day festivities that commemorate the Empire's conquest of a son. The second is a sequence of letters picked from the crosswords, which alone took entire nights to complete. You scribble them down on the back of the envelope. The stars are dying. <laughs> well, that fits perfectly with the experience that I just had when I was dying. Remember, setting up a, a watch to see if any of the other stars died. Someone said they saw one blink out. The stars are dying. Yeah, meaning at the same place under the same circumstances. That's odd. That was the Jubilation Day festivities that commemorate the Empire's conquest of a sun. Is there a connection there between the Empire's conquest of a sun and the stars are dying? Maybe the stars were... Or maybe the sun was keeping the stars going? The sun whose rotting corpse we saw over in the northeast? Oh, there's something new under Explore the City. An opportunity respond to a distress call. A group of concerned Tacades are looking for a skyfaring captain to assist them in retrieving a missing friend. Unlocked when you do not have a retiring filmmaker. That's probably the person they want me to save. Captain, a broad-shouldered Tackety speaks for the group. A friend of ours, there are protests. Uh, an acquaintance of ours has sent a message from Hybris. She needs transport back to New Winchester. He pauses for breath. Would you mind picking her up if you happen to go out that way? She's a filmmaker. Goes by... May... Lumery? M-M-M-E Lumery? I don't know what that is. Is that a title? Or does their name contain a period? I... <laughs> she said she'd never return, so I have to assume she's taken ill. It'd be good to make sure she gets back safely. Hybris lies to the east... Northeast of New Winchester. Hmm. I've just been over there. I don't like it. East, northeast. That would be, like, here. I mean, fuck, so I went all around here. I know that when I reached the bottom right around where I died, I was in this area coming up. So in that case, how the hell did I miss Hybris? Maybe it's more north. Anyway, I'm definitely not going over there right now. Ah, we get a couple available prospects from New Winchester. The Devils of Carillon are experimenting with a new penance involving close harmony singing. They request up to five gourds of chorister nectar, which is considered a panacea by opera singers and actors with extensive monologues. Carillon lies to the west of New Winchester. God, that actually sounds amazing for me personally, because this game is almost nothing but constant reading, and man, my voice gets so tired. I can only record, like, maybe three episodes max per day. At least healthily, if I do anything more than that, then I'm gonna seriously feel it in my voice. So, let's grab that. Hours for the Circus Ringmaster. Wanted, up to five barrels of unseasoned hours. Deliver to the Ringmaster. Yep, already familiar with that place, obviously. <laughs> unseasoned hours. I love that so much.
So this sounds interesting. Kirillin. I, I don't actually have the money to buy the Gourds of Chorister Nectar, but new places, new opportunities, more port reports. And it says it lies west of New Winchester, which would be nice to go west. I'm tired of going east. Yeah. I've spent almost all of my money on a bunch of supplies and a little bit of fuel, favoring supplies a lot more than I did before. And let's just head straight west to try to find Kirillin. Completely unexplored over there. Whatever's beneath us, it looks like there's some turret guns there. Hmm. Hope I can go west soon. Good. Definitely not... Was it Kirillis? Definitely not Kirillis. But, I've got a good amount of supplies. It's fine. Lips. New Winchester built watchtowers here in a fruitless attempt to deter marauders. This homestead appears to be thriving. A family gathers outside to welcome you. Blue smoke coils from the chimney. A couple more things I once again can't do. Guess I'll just eat my fill. Yeah, people, eat some, people at these homesteads are so nice. Just feed you for free. Nothing in return. They're very hospitable. You enjoy a meal of sticky porridge and viney vegetables. Afterwards, you and your hosts exchange non-committal observations on the war between stovepipes and tackities. Your crew are content for a time. One of them even speculates, idly, about settling down. You are briefly without terror. Zero percent. Look at these beautiful glowing mushroom things. Right. Yeah, let's stay on track. Love these rays of light. God, everything's so moody. There's so many different layers. Sky down there, a layer of vegetation stuff there, another layer here, that's a different layer. Light chats are a different layer. This like fog is a different layer. There's so much there's so much movement going on, so much depth. Okay, let's keep going straight west. Is that snow? Snow whips your locomotive. Your stokers work double shifts at the boiler. Cool. This close to the mother of mountains, the sky grows cold. Your crew don coats and gloves. So gorgeous. That could be Kirillis. That's about west. Okay, we know these things attack, so let's attack them first. Usually they attack. That one's backing up, maybe because it's wounded. Whew. Just in time. I think I hurt my ship a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. So we've already looked at these bodies before. Yeah, so choice is either lose terror, look for an uncanny specimen, or leave it. Well, I'm fine on terror, so let's look for an uncanny specimen. I found one. 
You venture out in your sky suit and begin picking through the fragments. Your patience is rewarded. Here is a stony organ, still palpitating with stubborn life. So strange. Same thing. Failure. Oh, it hurt the hole. I gained a little bit of money, though. A sudden wind drives the jagged cantankery... Yeah, can cantank... Contankery fragments against your hole. They crack against your window, drum on your plating. Gritty particulates clog your pistons. When you dig the shards free, you find some of them gleam with veins of semi-precious stones. Please be the port. It is not the port. Not that I'm desperate at the moment. Just makes me feel more comfortable. Whoa! Were you waiting for me? Are, are you even an enemy? You are, right? Yes. Star Maddened Explorer. Oof. They are moving very erratically, that's for sure. of this weathered engine had been driven mad by the winds and the stars and the things that haunt the sky. Gain whole by scavenging for parts or examine the captain's logs to find a sky story or a tale of terror. Ooh, this uses my veils, which I'm really good at. Yeah. The captain's door is covered in knots and crosses, so it transpires... So it transpires as the rest of his cabin, his logs, and his body. In every game, the knots won. Your search turns up a few valuables and you return to your engine. I'm a bit damaged. I definitely don't want to get into another fight with almost half health. Nothing. Just gonna keep going west. It is dark and peaceful here. The stars are few. Oh, there it is, yes! Well, that was not graceful. 